Have you ever had paint look like this? Is it splitting throughout the paint and the primer, or is the substrate visible? Then it is most likely going to be paint cracking. This happens for a number of reasons. It is mostly because the undercoat or top coat was too thick. The paint was refinishing over previously cracked or unstable surface. The substrate wasn't at room temperature, or component A and B were not properly mixed together. As they say, prevention is better than cure. And in this case, to repair it, you have to start again and remove the affected finish. Apply a primer or sealer and then repaint it. However, because it is better to prevent it in the first place, here are some tips to help you along. Number one, use the recommended thinners or hardeners for the paint and take time to measure them accurately. Number two, mix component A and B thoroughly. Number three, follow the recommended film thickness very carefully and to ensure you are accurate, these are always very useful to have in your back pocket. A wet film thickness paint comb. Or, does your paint look like this? When the paint film just wrinkles, shrivels or swells during a new coat being applied, or when the coat is drying. This happens when solvents in a new coat attack the previous finish, causing it to wrinkle. This can be because the maximum flash time or recoat time has been exceeded or it could be because you have recoated enamels or polyurethanes that haven't had time to fully cure. As with the cracking, the only way to repair it is to remove the affected areas and refinish. If before you apply a new coat you are unsure of the finish and whether it will be okay, then rub a small area with a cloth that is saturated in thinners and if the paint lifts, swells or shrivels then that finish will be susceptible to lifting. If this does happen then you can use a waterborne undercoat to repair the sensitive finish. To prevent the lifting in the first place you should do the following. Don't exceed a product's maximum recoat time during or after application. Don't use lacquer products over an air dried finish. And lastly allow enamels and urethanes to cure properly before recoating. Hope this information helps and please subscribe for further support with your paint shop.